Army Secretary U.S. should support both Israel and Ukraine China's Belt and Road Forum will shed light on the extent of Russia ties from drones to cyber attacks. Technology is shaping the Ukraine conflict Russia's war bloggers consider potential spark of further unrest special report Russia is buying civilian drones from China for war efforts entries include material from cable services and other sources. Tuesday, October 17, 245 The Kremlin said that Russian President Vladimir Putin offered assistance to Moscow in finding a political solution to the Gaza crisis during his meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. According to call from Kremlin, Putin expressed his sincere condolences to families friends of dead Israelis emphasizing his strong rejection and condemnation of any actions that victimize civilian population, including women children. The Kremlin said Putin also briefed Netanyahu on the highlights of his recent talks with the leaders of Palestine, Egypt, Iran and Syria. 122 global wheat prices have fallen to their lowest level in nearly three years as Russia ramps up exports of the crop reducing food inflation and raising concerns about over-reliance on Russian grain. Russian wheat is replacing falling exports from Ukraine and the expected weak harvest in Australia. Monday, October 16, 2354 Finance Minister Anton Silwanov tells MPs that Russia's drones are mostly supplied from China, so Moscow will spend more than 60 billion rubles to develop drone production. Our mission is for 41 of all drones to have a Made in Russia label by 2025, he says. Today, drones mostly come from the People's Republic of China. Drones played an important role in the Ukrainian war for both offensives and reconnaissance during fierce artillery battles. 1340. China's Belt and Road Initiative is key to promoting cooperation in the Eurasian region. Russian state news agencies reported, citing Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, speaking after meeting his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi in Beijing. Lavrov said, We see this move, this project, as an important part of promoting cooperation on the Eurasian continent on the basis of equality and mutual benefit. Lavrov added that Russian President Vladimir Putin, who will visit Beijing this week, will discuss all aspects of bilateral cooperation with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov called Belt and Road Initiative an important part of promoting cooperation on the Eurasian continent on basis of equality and mutual benefit. Governor of Henty Mansi Autonomous Region Yugra Natalia Komarova attended the St. Petersburg, Russia, held in June 2022. Petersburg International Economic Forum, Sunday, October 15 The Donetsk Region Administration announced that two civilians were killed in Russia's attack on the town of Avdivka in eastern Ukraine on Saturday. The Russian army continued its attacks on Avdivka for a fifth day. In one of few offensives it has carried out in Mo.